Now we're down here. That's got to be exciting, though. I, it is. I went to the. Did you go? I went. No, not this year, but 1972, the Munich Trials in yeah. Eugene. When that was I had a pre teammate from Alabama. Really? Uh, a classmate. He wasn't a football player, a track guy. Right. That ended up being a bronze in the pole vault. Jan wow. Johnson. And he was competing in Eugene, so in the summertime I went and watched him. Nice. Really neat. Did you see, uh, that was Prefontaine's big run. Yeah. Did you see him yeah, there for sure, that? sure did. I, I loved it. I, I, back in that day, track, I think, was in its heyday. Yeah. You know, the yeah. dual, they had a lot of dual meets. Right. And of course, you know, we, we had a great track team just like Oregon did and we had great field events we had a all-conference or the, uh, the 100 yard dash champion not meters Willie right. Turner and we had Fosbury of course was our pole, or our high jumper yeah. and, and uh, so there was a lot of great great athletes at Oregon State and there was uh, we had th those dual meets were really really fun to go yeah. to you're looking forward to having it back at Oregon State yeah you know, right now the football team's furnishing the track, yeah, exactly. the whole track team in, in the men's side of it. So we're excited about the, you know, the building of our new track stadium, and uh, we're excited about our guys getting to participate. Yeah. Sure, sure. It's getting to football, the football team. Um, it's been, I imagine, a frustrating couple of years for you guys, record-wise. Has it been? Has I guess has it been? Has it been tough for you personally the past couple of years? Oh, you know, it's always very disappointing whenever you're committed to something, spend that much time with something, and uh, you know that and it, it doesn't work. You know, you don't do as well as you want to do, and and then the, you know, from my perspective too, you know, seeing kids work hard and coaches work hard, and and uh, you know, n not getting the reward with uh, with wins. That's 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 all hard to watch. You know, so it's 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 difficult. Uh, the, but uh, the great thing about it is, is when it's over, you know, you can start pointing ahead. And you get to this point of the year and you've been through the off season, spring practice, summer workouts, all that stuff. And, and uh, I got a real good vibe. Yeah, again, that optimistic feeling about where we're going to go and how this team has worked and what we're doing. And uh, so I'm excited for the start of the year. Where does that come from, specifically? You know, I think it, it's it's got to be built into your nature in our business. You know, I've, I've coached, this is, I think, my 37th year of coaching. You know, so you, you're going to have peaks and valleys. And, uh, you know, there's, there's and so in my whole life, and, and if, if you can't come out of a valley of one season and get ready for the next year, you don't belong in this business because they're not all going to be the same. They're not all, they're not going to be, you know, even one year when we're playing for a championship in Canada, but we lost that final game before we were going to our Super Bowl, the Grey Cup. I couldn't, I couldn't wake up for six months without the very first thing popping in my mind was that last game that we didn't, you know, so, but, but you also are looking into the future, you know, you're looking every day at, uh, you know, individuals, schemes, you know, so it's always exciting. It's, it's, there's always something to learn and grow on, and uh, I love that part about our business. Is that how it is for you now? Do you wake up thinking about the Civil War? Every yeah, day? well, in some respects I do, but mostly right now at this point of the year, I'm really thinking about our team. You know, and what, we're getting ready for fall camp. I love fall camp. It's a great kind of final step into the formation of an identity of a team. So I'm really looking forward in, into entering into that. And, uh, you know, I've loved the work ethic and the intentions of this group since the season was over. So I'm excited to get with them and get going, you know. And, and we owe it to our team, to our players as coaches, to have that great drive of kind of renewal, of starting over. And you know, frankly, what you need to do, because we've had good years too, obviously, in our lives through the past, and you have to have that same kind of motivation coming off of a winning season as you do off of a losing season too. I mean, and so for people to say, oh, there's more pressure on you, or you want to do, you know, you're working harder, no, that's that's not the issue at all. All the pressure that's inflicted is, is personal. Uh, about wanting to do better, wanting to grow, and if you've won, wanting to win again, or if you've lost, wanting to get back to winning. And uh, it's just part of the cycle of life. How much do you lean on Sean Mannion this year? How much will you guys lean on Sean Mannion? Well, I'm, I'm super excited about that, that guy and his work ethic and his talent and uh, you know how he's taken last season and just kind of 
grown through the off season, spring ball, and he worked tremendously hard this summer. I, I really uh, think he's a special guy, and I think we've got another great one in Cody Vaz right with him. That are, those two guys had great springs, so I'm excited about that part of it. And obviously, you have to lean on your quarterback to to, to improve, to grow, to make good decisions. Uh, to have a better feel for avoiding the rush, getting rid of the football. All those factors are, are a matter of not being necessarily bad at or not as good at, but getting better, you know, getting better. The growth is the key to what we do. And uh, But frankly, the, the one area on offense, I'm not that worried about what we're going to do in the passing game. We've got good weapons to throw to, and we've got a good quarterback. What we need to, to do is run the ball better. When we run the ball better, our life will go better, and we will win more games, and we will be a lot more efficient in everything we do. We have not really run the ball well for two years, been very indicative of our record. Where do you see that the running game coming from? This year? Well, it's it's. Uh, I don't know what individual. I think we have a group of backs that will all. It's going to be interesting because I thought they had good springs. And then we're going to add a guy, Chris Brown, coming in with this group that I think is very talented. We're not going to let them compete for a while in fall camp, see where they're at, pick a guy and, and uh, have a starter. And then I know we'll have good players behind him. So that's a big issue. But the, probably the biggest issue about our running game is our offensive line, our tight ends, their blocking ability, you know, the formation of that group, where we're going to place guys uh, specifically uh, on the line during the fall. Uh, I think th that's a big, big key issue for our team. Do you need one running back to be successful? Or can, you do, can you be successful in the running game with kind of a, a committee? I mean, do, you, do you want one guy to step up like has happened in the past with you name Quiz, uh, yeah. Steve Jackson, anyone? Yeah, you know, we, we've, we've been that team that has had that one guy. Do I think that is the only way to go? No, I think you could do that with them. And maybe it would be better if you had a couple of guys that rotated and, and they could share 1,800 yards together, you know, somewhere in there. That would be good. And uh, so we'll look at that and how that goes. But, uh, you know, we're, I'm not going to make any preconceived notions or statements about how that's going to come down. I'm going to let them play in fall camp, and then we'll see from there.